So there are a few places that, uh, that, that stand out as having something so closely associated with the foundings of the place as this statue. But um, given the way that New Bedford has evolved over time and, and ways that other cities haven't been able to manage um, to accomplish, uh, we believe that there's room for another icon. And I'd ask my friend Deb Schrader to come on up. So I'm going to hand it off to her in a second. But um, uh, Deb has headed up the, uh, the Fishman's Tribute Monument uh, Memorial, excuse me, monument difference. And she'll explain that to you uh, for some time now. And, and we have uh, been working together um, over the last year or so. And uh, the, mon the memorial, the monument, has picked up a great deal of momentum uh, through um, uh, the sculptor Eric Durant, uh, who has um, has come up with a, a fantastic design and, and is executing it, uh, we have, we think we have something special, something that a hundred years from now people will be pointing back to and saying, you know, that New Bedford's a special place, and fishing played a big role uh, uh, in, in in shaping uh, the community that it is a hundred years from now. Um, we have uh, enlisted the help of. Uh, another great uh, artistic mind, Chris Reed, who designed Custom House Square, which is being completed right now, to design uh, a Fisherman's Tribute Plaza uh, in the South End, uh, where um, some of you may remember Monkey's Island, which isn't an island, it's just a cement pier off of East Beach. Uh, that's where it's going to go, and uh, you know, we're going to be uh, revealing it in a second. Uh, but this is, uh, this again, we believe is something that uh, people look at years from now and say, you know what, that's, boy, that's something unique to New Bedford, and it's something that we'll all be proud of, and it's really an effort on the part of so many people, Deb and others, to pay tribute to those who uh, go out to sea, much like the whalemen did, and put their lives on the line to, uh, at the end of the day, put food on the table for their, their families. It's a way of life that is unique to New Bedford, uh, or almost unique to New Bedford, but we do it here like, like it's done nowhere else. So let me introduce Deb Schrader, who will... Uh, uh, explain a little bit more about uh, the tribute uh, memorial uh, monument that keeps slipping, and uh, and then we'll go ahead and unveil it. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for having us here this afternoon involved with this wonderful celebration of the Whaleman statue. I don't think anything else could inspire us more to go to go forward with our work than this something so great that's touched so many hearts. Um, Thank you, Mayor Mitchell, and the members of the City Council Memorial and Dedication Committee who has helped us to move this project ahead really quickly in the last year with their help specifically. And I'd also like to thank our distinguished guests for involving us in such a wonderful family celebration, and we're just overjoyed to be part of it. Um, our mission statement to, was to create a monument to honor all fishermen, past, present, and future. With the help of Mayor Mitchell and the City Council Memorial and Dedications Committee, as well as the talent of our sculptor, the wonderful Eric Durant, uh, Professor Fine Arts, we are one step closer to achieving our vision. Our monument, in our opinion, will um, bring pride to our community and a feeling of appreciation for fishermen and their families. You don't realize that the families are such a big part of the unit. When my husband goes to sea, I, do, I trip too. I have special responsibilities and there's a way of life that we do to work around that. My favorite fisherman actually are my husband and my son who work together on the same boat. Um, but we do have, so it is a generational industry just like, it, just like the whaling days were. Um, we want the Red Fisherman's Tribute Plaza to show all of our fishermen this is the main goal. That when they leave this port and they're ready to go out there and fight and until you get over the ice bills and the food bills, you're going to come back with nothing unless you get a trip. So when they leave, they're worried about what's going to happen with this trip. And when they come home, they're exhausted and physically tired and drawn from the grueling, laborious job that they have. So I, our goal is, from the Fisherman's Tribute Fund is to ha have, make sure that these men feel revered and respected by the community, for which they're the economic cornerstone, and for what's such a huge part of our generational history, much the same as Mr. Crapo and Mr. Pratt. We couldn't be happier to be involved at this point with this day, but we also would like the to tell you how, unfortunately, this monument isn't going to cost $25,000. Finances have changed just a bit. So actually, I'm here today to ask you if you could help us. We are holding a 5K race that, that starts at Fort Tabor on July 21st. You can help by either sponsoring a t-shirt, spon being a sponsor on a t-shirt, which we could give you information for after I'm through here, or also we're having dedication stones, 
which I hope will be like a personal path to expression for people who may have lost their dads or their brothers or their sons. So that as you walk up the pathway, which you'll see in a few moments, those pathways will be adorned with stones that people purchase and put their own ideas and ideals into. Um, we also want a place where a younger generation can learn about fishing. Even in a town as rich in history as New Bedford, some kids still don't realize the difference between a dragon and a scallop or even different types of fish or species. Uh, we'd like to have, a, on our website, we'd like to have a curricula that the teachers could go to and as the same way as they take the children to Fort Tabor for a field trip, they could do the same just stopping by a few hundred feet before and taking the curriculum from the internet and using it to explain to the children more about the industry. I know that my husband and I have taken children onto the boats about fourth grade level and they're amazed and at the end they don't really know anything but at the beginning I asked them who wants to be a fisherman and the girls and boys are all raising their hands and at the same time. So it really is a place where a younger generation can learn more about what we're doing out of a classroom setting. But in order to change our mission, we've earned a great deal of funds for our project, although we still need your help. Along with the dedication stones and the 5K, believe me, any donation will be gratefully accepted. We are working for every brick in the wall, for every, st every stone that's going to be paved. Um, you'll see some wonderful displays by Stoss, by Chris Reed and his company, uh, renderings of what they, their vision of the, of the plaza will be. I hope that you enjoy it as much as we've been inspired by it. And if you'd like to contact me, my name is Deb Schrader. Our post office box is 4093 in, here in New Bedford. And I really couldn't thank you enough again for involving us in such a momentous occasion as this, historic occasion as this. And I'd like to thank again the, the families and Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much. All right, with, uh, with all that, um, Eric, would you uh, unveil the, the statue? So let me, let me uh, I want everybody to come up and take a look at, uh, at Eric's work. Talk to Eric, he's right here, he'll tell you. Uh, you know, if you were here 100 years ago, Bela Pratt could have told you of what he was thinking when he came up with, uh, with that icon, and now Eric is here, he can do the same in the present day for what we hope is uh, New Bedford's new icon. Uh, the plaza itself was designed by Chris Reed, a New Bedford native, who's, as I said, has designed Custom House Square. This is a great thing for the city, and uh, we do need your support. Um, uh, unfortunately, uh, William uh, Wallace Crape was not with us anymore, so he can't write us a check, but uh, we'll have to come together as a community to, to, uh, to support the cost of, of, of this monument, which I, is very realistic. Uh, it's not $25,000, but it is very realistic, and uh, we look forward uh, in the months to come to, uh, to raise aware awareness of this memorial and to, uh, to try to raise private money uh, to support it, so that the uh, so in the not too distant future we'll have that monument. And we can all bring our kids down there and say how proud we are of it. Thank you very much, everybody, and I hope you'll join us in the Ashley Room for uh, for some refreshments. Thank you.